Closing in over the pit, the Boeing X-plane comes to a stop and begins a slow descent. If disaster strikes, O'Donohue is now too low to eject. Suddenly, the controllers spot trouble. Invisibly, the engine has ingested hot gas from the lift nozzles and loses power. O'Donohue feels the bottom dropping out, but it's too late to abort. Twenty feet and only seconds from the ground, the gas dissipates, and the engine gains enough thrust to touch down safely. Excellent landing. He's down on the ground, and we realize it, and uh, and so there's the, you're in the quandary for that split second. Okay, we just did our first VL. What happened? <laughs> Over by the runway, no one is aware of the close call. Reviewing the data, the test team believes a choice made to increase safety, the hover pit, may be causing the problem. There's almost no crosswind to clear the pit of exhaust. Hot gas may be collecting and bouncing upward into the air. They decide to attempt a second vertical landing, but on a solid surface. We decided we were going to go for the vertical landing on the pad. So we, we set up all the numbers, set it all up, and, and know that, uh, hey, the same thing could happen there. Looking good so far, TCN1. The second vertical landing goes without a hitch, to everyone's enormous relief. Hey, Howard. But just a week later, during another vertical landing, an old friend pays an unwelcome visit. It's a pop stall, the result of hot gas ingestion just above the ground. 